Hey, Psych2Goers, welcome back to another video. First of all, we would like to thank you for all of the support that you've given us. Psych2Go's mission is to make psychology and mental health more accessible to everyone. And you help us do that, so thank you. Now, back to the video. Have you ever thought about the meaning of life? Do you ever find yourself thinking about the limited amount of time that you have left on earth and what it means? This is known as existentialism. While it's common to wonder about these things from time to time, for some, it can be an overwhelming experience and lead to feelings of depression. While other forms of depression relate to factors such as family issues, trauma, or genetics, existential depression relates to life's bigger questions. It's a form of depression where the underlying cause relates to some aspects of life, such as the concept of death, freedom, meaninglessness, and isolation. To better understand this, Psych2Go presents eight signs you're depressed about life. Before we begin, we would like to mention that this video is created for educational purposes only and is not intended to substitute a professional diagnosis. If you suspect you may have depression or any mental health condition, we highly advise you to seek help from a qualified mental health professional. Also, if you're feeling depressed or contemplating suicide, remember that you're not alone. Things can change, things can get better. Please reach out to someone from the suicide hotline in the description below. All right, let's begin. Number one, you constantly ponder about life itself in a negative light. Do you often find yourself feeling hopeless? Are you continuously wondering about the complexities of life from a negative point of view? Asking yourself what the purpose of anything is and why things are the way they are. They're difficult questions that have no definitive answer and existentialism brings this focus to the forefront. You may feel that these overwhelming questions are taking over your life and it's getting harder and harder to break away from. If you always find yourself wandering back into questioning why anything is the way it is or what's the point of anything, then it may be a sign of existential depression. Number two, you feel incredible loneliness. Sometimes when you're caught up in debunking the meanings of the world, it can be hard to connect with others. When struggling with existentialism, it can be difficult to see the people around you. You might struggle to find the purpose of hanging out with others or to just find people who can relate to your problems. When distant from others, it's easy to feel incredibly alone and isolated. Fortunately, we wanna remind you that there are people who care and will listen if you reach out to them. Number three, you feel like life is meaningless. Do you feel like your life has no meaning? Does everything you do seem futile in the grand scheme of things? If so, you may be struggling with existential depression. You may ask yourself what the point is when it comes to getting a college degree, getting married or starting a new project. When you have the mindset that everything will eventually be erased, it can be hard to move forward. While it's certainly unsettling to think about, it's important to establish what life means to you and build a purpose from there. Number four, you lose interest in activities that you used to love. Are you exhausted all the time? Perhaps your favorite activities have become less fun and the thought of starting a new one feels more tiring than actually doing it. If you especially believe that things are futile, it can be increasingly difficult to work up the motivation to start anything when you get caught up in that bigger picture, it can be hard to find the wonders that life once had. Number five, you feel misunderstood. Do you find it difficult to connect with other people? When dealing with existentialism, it's hard to find people that can relate to your issues. You may find that you think differently from the rest of your friends or that your philosophies and views about life differ from the general crowd. This can be incredibly frustrating to deal with and may lead to a tendency to distance and isolate yourself from everyone. Number six, your thoughts keep you up at night. Sleeping can be difficult with existentialism. In the quiet moments of the night, it can be simple for some deep questions to creep in. The idea of falling asleep can feel impossible when so many big questions are on your mind. Questions like, what is the meaning of life? What is your purpose here? What's the point in doing the things you're currently doing? These thoughts may start plaguing your mind and prevent you from getting any restful sleep. Number seven, you struggle with suicidal thoughts and feelings. 
Do you always feel overwhelmed in your daily life? Couple these feelings with the idea that nothing matters and it can make suicide look ideal. This is very tragic and alarming. Any thoughts or actions related to suicide should be treated as a medical emergency. If you or someone you know is in a particularly bad spot, it's important to know that there are trained counselors 24 seven that are willing to listen. We've also listed a number of emergency hotlines for suicide in the description below. Number eight, you feel dissatisfied with yourself. Are you upset with where you are in life? People going through an existential crisis, especially in a midlife or quarter life crisis can feel dissatisfied with themselves. You may feel that you aren't living up to your expectations or making the worst of your situation. While this is incredibly disheartening, it's important to know that things aren't static and things can change for the better if you work towards them. Did you relate to this video? What are some of your thoughts on existentialism? Let us know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like and share it with those who might benefit from it. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell icon to get notified whenever Psych2Go posts a new video. The references and studies used in this video are added in the description below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.